Hi, it's First Lady here. And today I am in the kitchen and I am making a big country breakfast. So this morning I woke up and I said, you know what? I want some sausage and gravy over some fresh, warm, hot, fluffy biscuits. So I'm going to make sausage and gravy with biscuits. I'm going to make some home fries with these uh, yellow potatoes here. Uh, I'm just going to use self rising flour and heavy whipping cream to make these biscuits. And if you haven't already, go over to my video where I have the two ingredient biscuits that you can make. I mean, literally, it's two ingredients and you will have the best fluffiest biscuits ever. And so I'm going to make a sausage gravy. I'm just going to use this premium pork sausage here that I got from Aldi. And I'm going to probably chop up a little bit of onion. And we're going to use some flour to make a roux to thicken up the gravy. And I probably will put a little bit of chicken broth just to kind of make the gravy have a, a little bit more flavor to it. All right. All right. So it's time for sausage and gravy with biscuits. I'm probably going to make some bacon uh, to go on the side and have the home fries. Oh, we're gonna have a great breakfast. So let's go ahead and let me do a little bit of prep work and let's get started. I'm ready for breakfast, are you? All right, we are back and let's go ahead and let's open up this sausage packet. We are right over here on the stove and we are going to open up this premium pork sausage here. And this is obviously 16 ounces, which is one pound. So you need one pound of sausage for this recipe. This is sausage gravy. So let me just show you how I take it out of the casing there. All right. There you have it. And I'm just gonna use a mallet here, my meat mallet. The skillet has been heating up and I'm just gonna use this meat masher that I got. I think my sister got this for me for a birthday gift. So I love this little handy dandy meat masher. If you haven't already, uh, go ahead and check out Life with Miss D. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. But Miss D, does a lot of things that I do. She cooks and also Miss D does a lot of gardening with and flowers. So, but she was so sweet to give me this and I love using this anytime I have to cook any kind of meat. All right, so let me just let this cook. I'll turn the fire down a little bit as this sausage is browning. And this is one pound of sausage. Sometimes it gets in the grooves there, but that's okay. You just kind of scoop it out and keep the process going, all right? So I'm going to go over here and wash my hands and continue to let this sausage cook, all right? So sausage and gravy is a real country classic for breakfast. And the wonderful thing about it is, is that you can uh, have this served over some biscuits. And honestly, this is your meal. You don't have to have anything else, just the sausage and gravy over biscuits. I've seen people put it over toast, uh, which is different. It kind of depends on what area of the country you live in. So leave me a comment and let me know how you like to eat your sausage and gravy. Do you like sausage and gravy over biscuits? Uh, you like it over toast? Uh, I mean, this would be really good just over some potatoes if you wanna leave the bread out. So I'm probably gonna make some home fries. So I'm just gonna 
continue to let this sausage cook. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like as I continue the process. I'm going to add a little bit of onion in here because honestly, I don't know about you all, but I love, love, love putting onion in just about everything I cook. So I have some chopped onion and that's just gonna give the gravy a really good flavor. Cause you really can't have gravy without chopped onions, right? So I'm just gonna put in this is a very small onion that I have chopped. So you can see it's not that much, but I love using chopped onions in this recipe because it's just gonna make the gravy even better, all right? Now, when I get through browning this breakfast sausage here, then the next thing that we're gonna do, oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell the way this sausage and onions smell together. It is amazing. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. Okay. Oh, the smell just got to me. <laughs> All right, so you can see that this is almost ready. I'm just gonna let this continue to brown. I like the sausage to be really browned well. Uh, you can have those crunchy bits of brown sausage in that gravy. That's just going to even make it better. All right. So you really want it to be fully brown. And you can see how I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the pan to get all those bits off the bottom. All right. Now, so this is just going to cook until this sausage gets even more brown. And I'm just going to make sure we got all of it cooked. All right and we'll go on to the next step. All right, so I'll be back because I wanna show you, I'm just gonna put some bacon in the oven and I'm gonna put some potatoes in my air fryer and just do some home fries. So I'll be back to show you that in a minute. Okay, let me put some bacon on this tray so that I can have this big country breakfast. And I love the thick sliced. And I love the applewood smoked bacon because I mean, look at look how nice it is. It's not just all fat. You can really see the meat there as I'm laying it out on the tray. And so I'm just gonna do about seven slices of bacon. And let me go lengthwise that way I have more room so I can have room for all slices to spread out and not be crowded on this tray. All right, so that is seven slices of bacon. Everybody can get like two slices if I'm feeding my family and everybody will be just fine. I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. The oven's preheated to 350. All right, there you have that. So I'm just gonna wash my hands again. After touching the bacon, I need to wash my hands and I love for my bacon to be crispy. So crispy bacon is always, always my favorite. And because we're having this big country breakfast. We're gonna have the bacon, we're gonna have the biscuits, the sausage gravy, and it's gonna be an amazing breakfast. Let me show you really quickly how I do the potatoes. And I've done these so many times, so you already know, but I basically just wash off some yellow potatoes, Yukon gold, and I basically just sort of cube them, all right, in a bowl. And these are like home fries. You know, when you make these, you know you're talking about a country breakfast. Now, smothered potatoes are good if you make them in the skillet, you know, with some oil and onions, peppers, you can do that too. They take a little bit longer. That's why I just like putting mine in the air fryer and they're done in like 20 minutes. So you can see 
these potatoes. This is three small to medium sized potatoes. And they're just as easy as one, two, three. So there's no way that you should have to buy those processed potatoes in the store. I'm just using a little bit of the Creole seasoning, <coughs> a little bit of the dash. <coughs> Ooh, that's spicy. All right, I shake it up. I'm gonna use a little of the chosen 100% pure avocado oil on these potatoes. Just liberally coat them. Stir it around. This is what they look like. All right, so they're seasoned well. They have that oil on them. All right. And this is the monounsaturated fat, so it's it's not bad for you. It's good. The avocado oil is great. All right, so I'm just going to pop these in to my air fryer. And you've seen me do this so many times, but I'll take you over here to the air fryer. And you'll see how they just go right in to the air fryer, dump them in. Spread them out. You see that oil? Just put all that over there on those potatoes. All right, so this is the way I do it. Now, 15 minutes at 350, and we'll take a look at them as we continue to go, okay? All right, so now I'm just gonna take a look at my sausage, and it is ready, okay? It's nicely brown. Okay, nicely brown. So now what I want to do is I want to set it aside. And obviously I'm just going to put it in a bowl. And it's going to... Be brought back in later after I get finished with making the gravy. Alright, so now we have our potatoes in there going right right along we have our bacon in the oven i'm going to put the one the two ingredient biscuits in the oven here in just a second and i'll show you how to do that all right so let me remove this sausage and i'll show you what it looks like when i get ready to add the heavy cream all right i'll be back all right so i have added just one third cup of flour and i'm just moving it around in this skillet. Now you can add butter, but I'm not gonna use butter. I'm gonna use just some whipping cream. But I'm gonna use a little bit of this chicken broth here. just to get things moving around in the pan here. And if you need to, you can use a small whisk just to kind of smooth out. But my thing is I want to get these juicy bits of sausage that's at the bottom of the pan. You can see that this gravy is coming together nicely. All right, this is a cup of heavy whipping cream, like I showed you at the beginning. 
Of course, you can get these ingredients anywhere, just heavy whipping cream. You can use whole milk if you want to, or you can use something a little bit lighter if you want to make this a little bit low calorie. All right. So this is gonna thicken up this gravy a lot. And so now I'm just going to keep whisking to get all those juicy bits of sausage from the bottom of this pan. And I'm going to add some more chicken broth. And this is the reduced sodium variety. So you do what you like in terms of sodium if you are okay with the amount of sodium that is there. All right? So you can make this gravy as thin or as thick as you need for it to be. I'm gonna use, make sure I got all that broth. And if it gets too thick, of course, you can add water to it or you can add more milk. But I'm making a rich and thick, creamy sausage gravy. I'm gonna add some black pepper. And I'm probably gonna add a little bit of sodium, but I'm gonna taste it here in a second, just to see. I've got the fire on low because I don't want it to burn. So I'm just keeping an eye on it as it is cooking. It's going to thicken up because it has that flour roux that's in here. I used a third cup of flour. So it's going to thicken as it continues to simmer. All right, so let me give it a little bit of a taste on my finger here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. I could just put that in a cup and just drink it. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. My, my, my. All right, so I'm just gonna let this continue to just simmer for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add the sausage back in at the end and let the sausage continue to flavor this gravy. I honestly don't think that it needs anything, but you definitely salt and pepper to taste when you make it for yourself. But you definitely wanna have a lot of black pepper because this is a peppery, kind of a spicy sausage and gravy, sausage gravy. Now, if you wanna use the hot sausage, I use the mild sausage. If you wanna use the hot sausage, then that's totally up to you if you wanna make this a little bit more spicy and give it a little bit more of a kick, all right? All right, so we have our gravy here. I'm just gonna let it keep simmering, turn the fire down. All right, and it's gonna just continue to simmer. And I'm going to make these two ingredient biscuits really quickly. So I'll come back and show you that. All right, so it is time to make my two ingredient homemade biscuits. And it's literally just self-rising flour and heavy whipping cream. So it's two cups of each, two and two, right? So self-rising flour, two cups, heavy whipping cream, two cups, and that's it. So I have a little bit of butter here that I'm gonna just put into this little uh, cake pan here, and I'm just gonna put it in the oven and let the butter melt because I want the biscuits to go right in with that butter. All right, so while we're making the biscuits, I just want to
show you just how easy it is. All right. So you really literally just have the two ingredients. And that's why I love this recipe because, I mean, really, um, two ingredients for, for homemade biscuits. I mean, it's almost impossible to believe, right? But it's true. So let me uh, get one of my cups here. And I'm going to actually get a measuring cup here. So this is my cute little one cup. All right, so two cups of flour. And you don't have to be crazy about, you know, being so precise. So this is one cup. And you can level it off. And that's basically two cups, all right? All right, so we've got two cups of the self-rising flour. Now we need two cups of the heavy whipping cream. So this is one cup of the heavy whipping cream. And I'm just gonna make a little hole here. As you can see that. That's one cup. And cup number two. All right, there you have it. So now, I use a spoon because I like to kind of bring it together. All right. The flour with the heavy whipping cream. And you can see how it's coming together nicely as I move the camera so you can see how it's coming together. All right. So now when it starts to come together like this, then you're obviously gonna now have to use your hands, all right? So this is where it gets fun. And don't forget, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel so that you can be ready to watch whenever I post any new content, all right? And I would love it if you would, please subscribe. I love cooking in the kitchen and I love cooking with you guys. All right, so that's the basic thing that I'm gonna do there. You can see that I'm just going to put a little bit of flour onto my clean counter and you can use your counter as well or you can use whatever you wanna to use too roll your biscuits out on, okay? So I'm just gonna roll these out. And they don't really have to have a whole lot of kneading. But as you can see, I'm just flattening them out. All right. <clears throat> Easy as one, two, three biscuits. Now what I like to do is I like to fold them out. And you know, it's really just basically as simple as rolling them out and using a glass to cut them on. So I'm just gonna grab a glass out of my counter there, out of my cabinet and just show you what I do. Let me check on the bacon. Bacon is almost ready. I see that the butter is ready as well. So I'm just gonna pull that out. And I'm gonna crank up the heat because these biscuits actually have to cook on 400. All right, so I'm just gonna put that right there. See that melted butter? That's going to be great. All right, so the bacon is going to come out. Those potatoes have already gotten done as well. So I'm just going to pull this bacon out. We are eating good today. We have a country breakfast. Oh, my goodness. So 
So let me crank the heat up on this oven to 400. It won't take but a few minutes to heat up. So now you can see that I, what I like to do is I like to kind of fold. So I like to mash and fold. And that's how you get the layers of the biscuits. All right, so I fold them over and I mash again. And then I fold again, right? And you need to, if you need to add more oil, definitely do that all on your hands, or if you need to just add some more flour, which is what I'm gonna do, just to keep it from sticking. You can use oil on your hands. All right, so, so I flip one more time, and mash. Okay, so this is what I do. All right, so now, just take this glass. Look, just as simple as this. I'll move the camera so you can see. All right, and there you have it. You've got one biscuit that's gonna go right in this butter. I like to flip it over. All right, and let me show you one more. This is what I call ingenuity in the kitchen. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's basically that simple. And these are gonna be some nice biscuits, buttery, okay? And I may be able to do one more here, mash this out and get one more here. Okay, and you can see it, there it is. Put it onto the pan, flip it over, make sure it gets butter on both sides. And so now I just take the remaining dough and I just do it all over again, all right? So as you can see, I'm just taking the dough, rolling it around, putting a little more flour onto the countertop rolling it out i just flatten and roll flatten and flip okay just like that all right and i take my cup again all right and there you have it Okay, and you can see it's gonna have those layers there. All right, so I wanna do the remainder of this dough. So I may be able to get maybe two more. How about that? They may not be as fluffy as the other ones, but that's okay. So that one's gonna be a little bit flatter. Some people like theirs flatter. That's fine too, all right? So I just put that one over there. Make sure it gets plenty of butter on it. And then I'll have one more here that I'll just roll out, flatten and roll. All right. I just like for it to have that little shape. So make it look like a biscuit, all right? So you can literally see that I've gotten six biscuits out of that, all right? So two cups of flour, all but the all-purpose flour may not work. You have to use the self-rising because that way you won't have to add any of the baking powder or anything like that. So as you can see, I'm moving these around making sure they have butter on both sides. These are gonna be buttery. These are gonna be delicious biscuits, all right? And they have different shapes to them. Some of them are gonna be a little thicker than others, that's okay. 
All right, but you can see that butter that's on there. All right. You can see these biscuits. And they are gonna go right into this 400 degree oven. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do that. I'll show you here. You can see that the bacon is ready. You can see that gravy that's over there. Still simmering. All right, so that means that the oven is ready. So these biscuits are gonna go right in the oven. I'm just moving them around a little bit. That way they have plenty of room to spread out. So you can see as they go in to the 400 degree oven that's ready for them. All right, this sausage gravy, let me give it a little bit of a whisk. You can see how thick and how delicious it is. And I'm just keeping it warm on the stove until those biscuits come out so we can have hot buttery biscuits. All right, hot buttery biscuits with this gravy. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to add the sausage back to this gravy. So I'm gonna do that really quickly so you can see that. There you have it. All right, a rich and creamy sausage gravy that's gonna go over these biscuits. Oh my goodness, y'all. Lord have mercy. I wouldn't suggest doing this on the day when you have to go to work <laughs> because you're gonna need to take a good little nap after this breakfast. This is what we used to call in our house a hammer hurt em breakfast, all right? And believe me, this hammer is gonna hurt you because this is a country breakfast here. All right, so that's the sausage. It's just gonna simmer. I'm gonna remove this bacon from the tray here and set it onto a paper towel so that it can drain some of that uh, fat off. Uh, the biscuits probably will only take about 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. They won't take long. And of course, let me show you our home fries that we did just in the air fryer. Look how beautiful, how golden brown these are. Okay, these are amazing. All right, they are amazing and they really will taste amazing. All right, so that's that on those potatoes. So I just want you to see them up close. All right, and I've turned the air fryer off so now everything is off. We're just waiting on our biscuits because we want the biscuits to be the last thing because we want them to be hot and buttery. All right, let me just give this another stir, this sausage gravy, another stir. And you can see how thick it is. So when it goes over those biscuits, it's gonna be amazing. All right? All right, so let me clean up my mess. All right, over here where the biscuits were, I'm gonna drain these bacon slices onto a paper towel and we will be ready to eat in just a few minutes. I'll be back. We're having a country breakfast. All right, for the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make a scrambled eggs just for this big country breakfast that we are having. And that is the final element to this breakfast. So I'm gonna scramble up three eggs and that's gonna round out our big country breakfast. Three scrambled eggs. We have bacon, we have home fries that I cooked in the air fryer. We have the sausage gravy, the beautiful sausage gravy over there. And oh my goodness, we're gonna have some homemade biscuits. All right, so let me... All right, so we're just gonna Move the camera over here so you guys can see. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan. This is the chosen 100% pure olive oil. I'm just gonna put a little in the pan. And that's all that I need. Move it around a little bit. 
and we're gonna scramble these eggs. All right. You can put salt and pepper and all that on there if you want. It's totally up to you. All right, so the skillet is hot, so I'm just gonna turn it off. All right, just scrambling up these eggs. Very quickly, soft scrambling these eggs it won't take long at all. And this will round out our big country breakfast. Bacon, scrambled eggs, sausage gravy with homemade biscuits and home fries. Oh my goodness, you can't ask for anything more. This is a breakfast of champions, fit for a king. All right, if you fix this for your hungry husband, he will love you forever, all right? This is a wife keeper right here, breakfast, all right? All right, so the eggs are done. I'm gonna move them off of the heat and they'll continue to cook a little bit as they sit. Now, of course, showing you again our gravy, all right? You can see how hot it is, the sausage gravy, homemade. We made everything from scratch today, including our biscuits. And they are almost ready. I'm just letting them brown a little bit more. The home fries over there that we cooked in the air fryer. All right, so don't skimp on this breakfast. This is gonna be a breakfast you can make on a Saturday morning with you and your family. You can even have this as a Sunday after church meal. Let me wash my hands real quick. And we're almost ready to pull the biscuits out of the oven. So when the biscuits come out, woo, let me give it another little stir. You can see I put a lot of pepper in this sausage gravy. I use the heavy whipping cream. And of course I use onions with that breakfast sausage. All right. So let me look at the biscuits real quick and let's see where we are with these biscuits. All right. All right, there you have it. These biscuits are pretty much ready. I think I'm gonna give them one more minute just so, they, so that they can brown a little bit more on top. All right, so I'm popping them back in. And when I come back, I'm gonna be ready to plate everything so you can see it and give it a taste, all right? We are having a big country breakfast, all right? It is time to eat. Get ready. All right, let's pull these biscuits out. These bad boys are ready. Woo, I'm trying not to burn myself, but there you have it. These biscuits are beautifully brown. All right, so they're just gonna go right over here with everything else that we are making. Close up the oven. This is the sausage gravy. I'm gonna move it over here. So we're gonna do it all in one sitting. All right, so this is the sausage gravy. that's gonna go right there on that hot plate. All right. And of course these Soft scrambled eggs really quickly are gonna go just right over here. All right, so now let's eat. Let me turn the oven off. All right, so, oh my goodness, where do we start, okay? We have this beautiful country breakfast, all right? And I'll show you all of it together. My goodness, we have the sausage gravy, we have the biscuits, the bacon, the home fries that we made in the air fryer and these scrambled eggs. So I don't know about you, but hey, it's time to eat. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do, and I could actually use my blue plate here and kind of have a blue plate special, you know, just like what you would get at a country diner, right? All right, so let me go ahead and just set the camera down so you can see all this beautiful bounty that we have. 
and I'm just gonna make this plate so you guys can see the eggs. Let me just start with the gravy, the sausage gravy, because I really wanna just show you this. I've got one of these big fluffy biscuits that I made homemade. Look at that biscuit. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. Let me open it up. You can see those layers. Wow, delicious. Because I folded them, right? So I wanna show you this gravy. I'm just gonna get a spoon here and spoon some of this gravy out just on top of these biscuits, just so you can see. Look how hot they are and look. There we go. There we have it. The sausage gravy. This is my homemade sausage gravy. Oh my goodness. The blue plate special. The sausage gravy. Oh my goodness. All right, so let me just taste this for you guys really quickly. Oh, I know it's gonna be hot. You know how I do it. I always, always, always have to taste it while it's hot, just so you guys can see just how delicious it is. All right, here we go. This is it. All right. Oh my. That made me sing right there, y'all. That is delicious. Mm. That biscuit. Mm. I can't even talk. I can't even talk right now. Just forget about it. You guys need to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this sausage gravy. Mm -mm -mm, over these hot butter biscuits, homemade. Two ingredient biscuits, y'all. It doesn't get any easier than that. Mmm. No need to go out to the local diner or the greasy spoon restaurant. Just cook it at home. All right. Oh my gosh. Let me set that to the side. All right. Oh, I got a little gravy right there on my plate. Let me taste that. Oh, you know how we do it here in First Lady's Kitchen. All right, so let's get a little of these hot home fries that we made in the air fryer. All right, let's get these scrambled eggs here. This is a big country breakfast, y'all. Big country breakfast. All right. Now let me get some bacon to go with it, two slices of this delicious crispy bacon here. Look at that, wow. All right, so now I've got my sausage and gravy over the hot biscuit. Mmm, Lord have mercy, why? Why is that so good? Let me taste my eggs. My home fries for you. I can feel my country accent coming out, y'all. Mmm. Big country breakfast. I love it. I love it. Mmm. All right, y'all. I'm going to eat my big country breakfast. And I hope you guys like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this recipe. And especially, oh my goodness, especially this sausage gravy over these hot butter biscuits. All right? Y'all continue to be blessed. Mm, and y'all come back now, you hear? Bye-bye.